Hello, this is O Morgan from OMorganLabs.com. Today we're going to make a do-it-yourself retractor. Basically, you don't need one of these, okay? You can make one yourself. All you need is a compass and a straight edge. Okay. Here you go. You have your compass. You have your straight edge. And a compass, you can buy that from the store or you can use two chopsticks, <laughs> whatever you need to use to uh, make a fixed point in space. So we use the concept of a of a perfect circle, okay? A perfect circle and it has two radii that uh, intersect the circle. They'll make a line segment here. Whatever happens to the line segment happens to the angle, the central angle here. If you cut the line into two equal parts, the angle will be cut into two equal parts. It's that simple. So using that concept, we'll start with a with a 90 degree angle, okay? You can either use a, the corner of a sheet of paper or you can use a geometric construction. The way we do that, you start with a straight line and you strike an arc. The arc has to be greater than half the length of the line. Then you go to the other end point, you strike another arc, you connect the intersection, and there you have it, a 90 degree angle. Okay? Alright, so using that concept, we make our 90 degree angle. Now we have to cut this red line into three equal parts. We're going to cut it into three equal parts because we want to make a 30, 60, 90 uh, protractor. Okay, to do that, we'll make three equal lines. Doesn't matter what length the lines are, just make sure that they're equal and they're the same, same length and they're consistent. All right, you can use your compass to do that. Just set it to a decent size and repeat it three times. One, two, three times. After we do that and we get our equal lengths, we connect it to our red line segment. After we do the connections, we will cut the red line at the three equal parts and that will cut the angle into three equal parts. So your first your first line is crucial, right? You go from one, you go from one intersection to the other. So to do that, you draw your line, and now when you draw lines two and three, make sure they're parallel. When you use your straight edge, when you bring it down, make sure you don't tilt it to the left or right. Just keep it parallel, and if you do that, it will divide the red line into three equal parts and it will divide the angle into three equal parts and you'll have a 30, 60, 90 protractor. Now this was just, uh, a, just a simple run through just to show the concept. You can extend this to a 10 degree, a 10 degree increment protractor by just dividing this into 10 equal parts. So you would make the lines a little smaller, but make them all equal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? You make them in a straight line. And then you would use the same concept, making parallel lines, cutting the line segment into ten equal parts, and then you would connect the dots to the center, as we've done here, and you would make a ten degree increment uh, protractor. 10, 20, all the way up to 90. Okay? Alright, that's it. Basic concept. Make a DIY do-it-yourself protractor. Okay, omorganlabs.com. Hope you learned something and subscribe.